Hello everyone, Mishling's back here with Super Mario Galaxy. In the last episode, we, well, we started the game and got one power star. Uh, we might get a little further here. Let's go into the terrace, the first dome of the game. In! Welcome! This dome acts as an eye of the observatory. From here, we can gaze upon distant galaxies. Once this Luma transforms into a pole star, he will guide you to those faraway galaxies. Simply point your star at the pole star and press A. Ah, fourth wall breaking. Don't you love it? I love it. Point at the screen. I am pointing at the screen. Okay, so. Here we go again. More exposition. These are the galaxies that can be observed from this dome. The numbers represent their distance from the observatory. The bigger the number, the greater the distance. The more power stars you find, the further you will be able to travel. Farther, not further. And so this first one that we can access with only one star is Good Egg Galaxy. Yes, it's undeniable. We're detecting power star energy patterns in the nearest galaxy. But I must warn you that the evil energy readings are off the charts. Please be careful. I may have overdramatized that, but that's all in good fun. So let's head out to the Good Egg Galaxy. Now, Dino Piranha, first boss battle of, well not boss battle, great I just spoiled it, you know what, who cares, it's the first real mission so to speak of the game, and it should be obvious from the name and that stuff that this is a boss battle, so you know what, let's just go right ahead with it. Great music by the way, somewhere up there in my favorites of the music in this game. I once had a list of what I considered to be uh, the best music in this game by, you know, which galaxies are best. This, I don't remember what that list was, but this was up there. Now, uh, yeah, there's a lot of little places we can go over here. This is on the other side of this little planetoid thing, and I'm gonna see if I can trick the game out and crap didn't work uh let me try that one more time because if you one cool thing about this game yep and the gravity gimmick is that you can really trick some things out and that's one of them you're supposed to talk to the luma who will transform into a sling star to get you up there but uh i much prefer to do it my way because it's more interesting You know, ah, I've heard some people say that music in older games was better. Um, you just haven't listened to what new stuff Koji Kondo has come up with. I mean, he's kind of the definitive of older music. People who, you know, people who love the older video game music. But in addition, but the stuff he's come up with recently, I mean, you give him an entire orchestra. What the guy can do is incredible. But anyway, I, I, I should be talking about the actual game. Okay, uh, give me a second here. Okay, sorry about that. Um, I had a Wii Motion Plus unit attached and I kept knocking it slightly off, which kept giving me that whole reattach the controller message. Yeah. Now, these little rocks little rocks. Those are quite big rocks. If you spin into the red spot in there, you'll get a bunch of star bits and... Wow! <laughs> okay, that was funny. Those little green things, if you spin into them, they, uh... They're like, kind of... It's kind of like getting hit with a rubber band, except it not, knocks star bits out of you. Yeah. Like I said, we'll get pretty soon to the point of star bits. It's... It, it's introduced in a kind of tutorial thing in the game, so I'm not going to bog you down with all that right now. Yeah, you see, that, that that's your usage of those green things, which they I'm sure they have a name. I just don't know what it is. You know, I'm sure that must have a name. But, ooh, ooh, this right here. Kind of dust cloud, if you spin into it and kill him, you get... Wenny, I want to say, Starbits. You'll be able to tell from the numbers and the way things go up. And... Freaking! Ah, 
How do I know? I knew even before I got hit what was going to happen there. These are Octumbas, a combination of Octoroks and Goombas, which are about as annoying as you'd expect. And there you go. You drop back behind there, there's a free life. It's one of those things, I, I think when I first did it, I honestly expected to just fall off the world, but tried anyway. What do you know? They put in little secrets and things sometimes that, you know, show Nintendo really knows what they're doing with the, with level design and similar. And now, all this has been building up to... Our first boss battle of the game, as I inadvertently semi-spoiled earlier. What? This is basically Petey Piranha from Super Mario Sunshine, and you fight him by spinning into his tail so it hits him in the head. You... that, 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 that should not be favorable by evolution to manage to have a tail that, can, that acts as a rubber band and a big thing at the end of your tail that can easily smack you in the head. So, I mean, I don't understand how this thing exists, but hey. We're applying real-world logic to Mario games. That's not really something that ever makes much sense to do. And see, th that's how easy this boss is. Though I have gotten hurt and nearly died by this boss before because I'm an idiot. Who has this inability to focus sometimes. And there we go. With our first... Well regular star of a regular mission in the game. There we go. Those things are star bits. To Lumas, they are the tastiest, most delectable treats imaginable. Aim your, cur aim your pointer at the screen and point your star at them to pick them up. Once you have some, shoot them by aiming with cursor and pressing B. Why don't we try it out? Aim at me and feed me some star bits. So, this is the tutorial about star bits. I was telling you. Now, you point at him and shoot it, and Lumas really like it. They eat them. A lot. And... I thought you only took four. That's five, I guess. Hmm, tasty! Let's call those little morsels my fee for this lesson. Um, wait, wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. You gave me seven star bits, and I gave you five back. You're losing money on this. You can also shoot them at enemies or feed them to a hungry Luma. Either way, I'm sure star bits will be a big help on your adventure. Yep, they will. Hungry Lumas, that'll come up later too. And you know what, I think I got time for one more good old galaxy mission, so let's go with that. And our next mission up here is a snack of cosmic proportions. Actually, I think we're pretty much already to the maybe, maybe, perhaps, yep, we're already to the Hungry Luma thing. So I'll show you how that works, and then that should be... Well, the end of the video, because I think by that point I'll have enough content here. So, if you walking through this grass here can get you some star bits, and you're going to want to get as many star bits as possible here. See, whenever, almost every time you have eight of something in a circle like this, spin in the middle, and you get eight star bits. Very helpful. And as you see, you can get star bits over here by walking through the grass, and see, you keep getting more. Another way to get them spin into enemies, and they drop star bits. Some of them you have to spin and then kick, or spin and then jump on, or some stuff like, some such like that. I don't remember how many star bits quite you need in this. Ooh, ooh, ooh. There's a few more. There's a few in the circle of eight. And I killed those guys, and... Okay, the camera shift with the gravity thing here is really, really bizarre. And it kind of throws me off at times that there's such a sharp um, change and things like that. What was down in this pipe? I have forgotten. <sighs> That's the reason the chicken crossed the road. Of course. 
Okay, so if I yes, I recall correctly. Now see, I haven't practiced this. I this literally is the first time I've played this game in months. So, well, you get what you get. I'm not exactly going for professional walkthrough quality here. I've got a hungry friend up ahead. You don't mind sharing your snacks, do you? Now, ah, first time we've seen pole stars in use in the game. You put your cursor on them and pull to them. Now, they've been used in the uh, domes, but that's not really a part of gameplay in any real sense. Now, huh, I just realized when you shake the nunchuck, you can hear, I think, the accelerometer in it moving. I am a nerd, I'm sorry. And again, that should be obvious in the fact that I'm posting videos about video games on the internet. I don't think, once you, once you do that, I don't think being a nerd can ever be considered a secret. Not that I try to. I try to be a nerd as, well, openly I guess is possible. I don't care what people think about my nerdy habits. And is the Luma up here? Why does something tell me I should have taken that launch star? Something tells me that's probably because I should have. Oh boy. If that's what I have to do, I will... Well, no. If that's what I have to do, I might see... You know what? No, 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 no. No. You're watching my pain at this. You're kidding me. Okay. Don't take that launch star. Ah. <sighs> I'm sorry. You're watching an idiot play a video game. That's the price you pay. I will be at that Luma pretty soon, I should hope. So, yeah. Am I headed towards the Yoshi Egg? Am I headed towards the Yoshi Egg? Yoshi Egg? Yoshi Egg? Yoshi Egg? Yoshi egg? Yes! Okay. And I have 111 Star Bits, which I think he takes 100. Let's see. Hey, you! Yeah, you! Got any tasty Star Bits? Ah... Uh, Famished needs 100 to curb the hunger pangs. Right, uh, hey, cursor, don't disappear. So, Luma wants 100 Starbits, and I give it, you give it to him. Now, hungry Lumas, there will be in some levels as kind of, um, some will be in there as secret stars in a game, or hidden stars, bonus stars, whatever you want to call them, some of them will show up at the Comet Observatory, and you have to pay them there. So, yeah. I was going to figure out how many star bits you needed to complete the game, but I don't actually know at this point. It's a good number of them. Also, star bits can be weaponized. As soon as I get to a weapon, as as soon as I get to an enemy, I can show you this with. Uh, I'll show you what I mean by Starbits being weaponized. Now this, this this is a thing that shows up. Oh, see right here. Watch here. See, you fire at him with it. It's the same as if you spun into him, and he explodes into more Starbits. All right, this this is the first example of places that really have fun with this gravity gimmick by changing the gravity by just walking over to another place you have different gravity here the changes are up and down in other levels they're up and down and left and right and it gets quite crazy but as for that well that's simple and i just crashed through the metal no not metal glass casing in this place now what you're supposed to do here is walk along these sides and collect all those star chips to make a pull star to get, dry, get yourself to the power star right in the middle of this. Good god, I cannot speak. But, if you don't want to do that, like me, you can always just try a long jump, and you get to it. I really don't know why they designed it like that, because I have never solved it that way by using the pull stars properly, but who really knows? That's just kind of the way that I do things. So, now that we've got that done, I mean, we're only three stars into the game, but the, all this stuff has taken quite a while. So, everyone... Oh, I've discovered a new galaxy. I will show that to you next time. So, well done, Brave Explorer. You've discovered a new galaxy. Collecting power stars will expand our range of vision, perhaps to eventually include the enemy base. Save my game? Yes, I will save my game. 
So, everyone, that was Michelings. We're starting off Super Mario Galaxy. And, well, I will see you guys next time.